Hi guys, what's up? Got the Samsung Galaxy S20. So I've, I've unsealed that on camera and there it is. It is basically the same If anything, it's a touch smaller. But the difference is, this is edge to edge screen, where this has got a little gap there. So, I'll tell you some more differences later. Apart from not having a Bixby button anymore, that's gone. Faster processor, slightly uh, more battery. So yeah, there's, there's power in there. Slightly slimmer. Uh, so what's in the box? Let's have a look. Uh, we have the AK, is it AKD, AKG earphones. Yeah, these are these are quite nice. It doesn't come with the earbuds. And we have uh, the USB-C connection cable, which is this time it's now C to C, and that then goes into the adapter ready to go I have got the wireless adapter which you'll find in the description and on the page plastic cover in there it's got a cover on the front as well I think these are earbud covers and uh, they're giving you four of them that's why it was that's why it must have been in in there and I pulled it out okay guys so there's nothing in the bottom of the box, but in the top. This has stuck in the top here. Right, finger at the end, pull it out. Right, got that. Then we've got the SIM card remover there. So I need to put that in quite soon. And what I'll also need to do is to get the software running that will then clone the phone with my existing one to get the data across. And then I can show you the differences um, so obviously got the camera differences here. This is 64 megapixel camera, so it's quite a biggie. Um, not as big as the Ultra. The, it's only the Ultra has the 108, but this is, uh, like I say, a big improvement over the uh, original Samsungs, which are, you know, not very big oh, at a all. Bit longer, which means you can fit more icons on. Yeah, these big icons on a big screen. I mean, come on. Uh, home screen settings you can also change the app screen grid so you can get more of them on a page although it hasn't shuffled them across which it could have done which is really annoying it seems that Samsung's phones are, to, are losing their smartness or whether it's the Android but you know these really when I've resized that screen, I would have thought <clears throat> it would have been intelligent enough now that this AI is everywhere. And as far as I know, there is AI in this phone. But it could have done that for me. So, so far coming across a few disappointments. To update, it potentially will update the basic apps. If you want to up download your own apps that you've got from before you'll need to sign in so if I come back out of that it should still be updating them it's uh, yeah so as far as the phone looks it's looking it has changed look a bit don't know what don't know why this has come up when I've opened up the uh, Oh, Galaxy Store. I wanted the Galaxy Pictures. Yeah, so here we go. Galaxy Picture screen and stuff. Looking pretty similar. Uh, no doubt if I add a theme, it will then change how some of those uh, will look. If you go into settings, pretty similar. Can it, it's, all, it's just all the same. Looking all the same there. Uh, we can find out a bit more about the phone.
we've got our One UI version 2.1 which is pretty more up to date than my S8 Plus Android 10 I think mine the Galaxy S Play is 9 uh, double check that in a minute if you want to look at the hardware specifications you might like, likely need to download uh, a CPU or hardware inspection app that will then tell you the processors and how they're working um, storage you've got 128 gigabytes memory you've got 8 gigabytes the um, I've actually thought that I thought that was 12 maybe the S8 plus is 12 I know the ultra is 12 although saying that I thought that might have been 16 um, you can check that on my page for up confirmed but then again the phone you know this is showing what the real what the real specs are yeah there's nothing there to sort of show you uh, the specs of the phone inside apart from the memory I can't see anything in there to tell me about the processor it's only installed one app while we were talking it's only managed to install one app rather interesting um, maybe when it's updated all these applications it might look a bit better Uh, I was interested in looking at the video. Yes, yeah, so now it comes with third. Uh, what zoom is it? Thirty zoom. So we zoom in and zoom in. There's thirty zoom. So basically, I need to find something to zoom into. Um, yeah, it's getting a bit grey. So basically you can skip quite a lot just to get into the phone. Skip all of them, finish. Sounds like uh, Samsung from a few years ago. Wallpaper doesn't look too bad. Same again when you go into the apps page. They're looking a bit iPhone-y. Uh, let's have a look. Touch screen's a bit slow. So what I was thinking of is whether you can change the grid. So on there you can change your home screen grid. Which makes it a bit small. So they're the good things about this phone is the video capability. Uh, I've just noticed it's come with Netflix already on there. Instead, uh, the Spotify. Now this is quite good because these are quite commonly used. Um, a lot of TVs and things come with them, but now the phone is coming with them. Uh, there's automatic zoom in options. You can automatically go to different zooms, like 10 or four, 10. Yeah, it's washing out. Uh, right, video. You've got the same zoom. No, not quite the same, 12 zoom, but the same sort of thing, it's just washing out. You've got the settings up here. So your front video and rear video. So the rear video, you've got 8K. Uh, at that resolution, 16.9. If you click on 69 here, you can choose it up to your UHD 4K at 60 frames per second. One of the reasons why I bought this phone. The good thing about, uh, well, it looks like the front video, even the front camera here, can do 60 frames per second. Or well, just in 4K. So that's quite impressive as well. Yeah, the Facebook's there, and your Samsung members. 
So in, in organisation things, I think there's some improvement there as well, which really there should be. And uh, another thing a lot of people are mentioning uh, in the reviews is the way this camera is sticking out. But it doesn't stick out any more, any more or less than the, the Honor. That's sticking out as well. It is smaller, but it's still sticking out. So I've never had a problem with that, but you need a cover. When I put the cover on this, which I have got a cover, which came free with the phone, unlike Samsung that do not supply any cover. If a phone that costs 230 pounds can come with a cover, you know, even if it is just a clear rubber one, and then a phone that costs between 800, 1,000, 1,100 pound doesn't come with a cover. I mean, come on. But when you've got the cover on, that is then potentially flush.